Hello everyone, this is Hammertron here with a new figurine review for you. This time I am reviewing a mythical creature. This is the Safari Limited Yeti, set number 100306. This was first molded in 2020, according to the stamp on the bottom of the foot, but I thought this thing was older than that. I thought I had seen pictures of a Yeti figurine by Safari Limited before 2020, but maybe not. Um, I bought this through an online store in 2022 because I could not find it in a store. And I kept looking and I kept waiting and I got tired of waiting so I went ahead and ordered it. When I bought it, it had a tag wrapped around it, wrapped around an arm with this piece of plastic. and. It has a warning card in English and some other languages. And here is the tag. It's a Yeti, some basic information inside, and some manufacturing information on the back. Let's take a look at the dimensions of this figure. Now the widest point with the outstretched hands looks like it's about four and three quarter inches wide at the longest point it's a little hard to determine but I think I think the longest point might be this foot and maybe the elbow or this foot and this foot so it seems to be right about two inches long at the longest point at the highest point on top of the head there looks like it's about five inches tall so it's a nicely sized yeti figurine and certainly looks cool i like the way it looks although the one possible problem is the pose the particular pose um it's an all right pose it looks like he's Rearing back, roaring, and ready to attack something or someone. Now it's a little bit wobbly, I think. I prefer to buy these in the store so I can make absolutely certain that these will not wobble. But uh, I did buy this online and I took a chance and it seems to be standing stably. So I'm happy about that. Looks like a nicely sculpted Yeti. Looks like he's very uh, muscular, kind of an ape-like creature, so almost like a person. So lots of muscles here on the body, lots of muscles on the arms, you know, big broad shoulders, some muscles on the leg here, and lots of fur sculpted all across the body. You know, nice pointy ears there, big fangs, there's the tongue in there, so they sculpted inside the mouth a little bit so a little bit of painting in there it's pretty nice and might be a little hard to tell but the eyes are actually red so some scary red eyes lots of sculpting on the arms here and some claws at the end of the hands or at the end of the uh, fingers so lots of work all across it there and we can see that the shoulders are being pulled back so the shoulders are sticking out kind of farther than the rest of the body so they've done a nice job sculpting this sculpting the the fur texture and also the muscles and the the body underneath the the um muscles there so it looks like it really is in action well it's a fantasy creature so I suppose it's about as realistic as it can be for something that's not really real. So, lots of nice uh, fur sculpted here. And the legs. Near the bottoms of the feet with some manufacturing information. Made in China in the year 2020. So, nice scary facial expression. So I like this one. This one's pretty nice. Now, it's not a very bright white. It seems to have kind of a um, black wash on it, maybe to show off the uh, textured fur 
that they've sculpted in it and also to make it look a little dirty so it's pretty nice so this is the Safari Limited Yeti here is the Yeti from the Mojo HK Limited so lots of big differences here the Mojo HK Limited Yeti is a bright white um, does have some fur textured but it seems to be more even and m more of the same across the whole body whereas this Safari Limited you know some places have much longer uh, bits of fur has a much scarier looking face and bigger claws it has a more expressive um, body posture or pose But um, what is similar is that they both have a lot of muscles on their body, like bodybuilders. So it seems to be similar. Now, looks like they're about the same height. Now, if, if the uh, Safari Limited Yeti were standing straight and tall, with the leg straight under it like this, like this Mojo Yeti, then I think this one would actually be taller but here the legs are spread out and it's in a more action pose so it looks just a little shorter uh, they feel almost the same in, in weight so I like it I like both of them uh, however I think the Safari Limited Yeti is better uh, just because of the more details in it and the pose of the figure is just a little more exciting so this is the Safari Limited Yeti an impressive figure it's good for some different dioramas or displays so thank you for watching my review video remember to like the video leave a comment and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my future reviews I'll see you next time bye everyone